I tell folks that most Christians are not aware of is that even though Paul recognizes that the majority of Jews in his day, and he's writing about 57, 58 AD, so almost 30 years after his conversion and after the resurrection of Christ. Hmm. By that time, there probably are well over 100,000 Jews who have accepted Jesus. There's all sorts of historical evidence for that, and I, I lay out that evidence in this book. You know, so many Christians think, well, it was just Paul and the apostles and maybe one or two others. No, there yeah. were probably probably hundreds of thousands of Messianic Jews, but still less less than 50%. Yeah. Still 51% had not accepted. And yet the important thing is, is that Paul says God's covenant with them is still in place. They're still the chosen people. And in fact, it was God who closed their eyes to Jesus as Messiah. In Romans eleven twenty five, God sent a partial hardening, which means closing their eyes. God purposely closed their eyes. Why? For your sake, Paul says in Romans 11, you mm -hmm. being the Gentiles who were the majority of the church at Rome, for your sake, and as I explain in the book, to open up time and space for the Gentiles to come in because Paul apparently accepted the rabbinic teaching that when the Messiah comes, that all Israel will accept the Messiah and the end of the world will come. So God purposely closes the, eye, the eyes of a majority of Jews to the identity of the Messiah so as to open up time and space for the Gentiles to be grafted into the olive tree of Israel, hmm. which is the only locus for salvation. As someone famous once said, Salvation comes from the Jews. Yeah.